day six. Welcome, everybody. It's been some changes and there's been some learning. That's going to be my new song for this week. There's been some changes and been some learning. I, I have learned this is some survival. Listen, thank y'all all. I ain't thank my subscribers in so good a minute. So I would like to thank the subscribers. I see a lot of new subscribers in there that I didn't see before. Of course, I've been going through so much change lately. I ain't even looked. I have no clue. I've just been trying to put out some good content and have the good content pulled in more people. So all of my new subscribers, I want to say thank you. I want to say welcome and welcome to the journey of the Mississippi Survivor. I hope you learn something each and every time I speak on this platform. So saying that to say this, Day number six. Hmm. <laughs> Where do we start with this day? Okay. Well, of course, you know, I got the generator running and we were running off the uh, generator, of course. Uh, and we were still, that was running off my solar as well. Uh, my experience and my experience of this whole situation, by the way, uh, the lights got turned back on today, uh, actually about 10 to 15 minutes ago. So what I learned from this journey, I've learned a lot. For for one, I want to speak on this for uh, most people. If their lights was out and they was dealing with the situation that I was dealing with, they would have been pissed. I already know because the way it was handled. Now, I want to speak on how it was handled. I think it was handled very unprofessional. It was handled unprofessional. Uh, it should have been done way before now. Uh, I mean, in that aspect of the whole situation, it should have been already done way before now. And then I, uh, at the end of the ball dropping, I talked to the ledger company, and they told me two more days. And I'm like, oh, we're going to day number eight. But... We're in six. So uh, mostly half of the whole day was gone before they decided they was going to go ahead and come. I didn't even know they was coming because the lady told me two days. And uh, I was I, I set my cameras up where they would work without the grid. So uh, I kept seeing somebody walking through the yard. And I'm like, who in the Sam Cook is this? So I seen him with a letter. And he was looking around the back. And I said, OK, it must be electric company. So. So he went on and knocked that out and got that out the way. That's all it took in the first place. I asked him, I, I made a couple of phone calls this morning just to uh, ask around about it and see uh, what was the status. And <laughs> the guy had an attitude with me, told me to please stop calling people because they are calling him and he's busy. <laughs> What you mean, you busy? What you mean? This is your responsibility to get this done. You dropped the ball. This should have been done. You're not responding to me. Any normal person with common sense, if you're not responding to them, if you're trying to find out some information, people, all of my subscribers and new people, anybody else is watching this, if you're trying to find out some information and the person that, supposed to be in charge of it, it's not informing you of anything and then you texting them and they not answering you back what are you going to do you're going to call somebody else i am i'm calling the planning department the planning department said they ain't heard nothing from you i'm calling everywhere i call the electrician i call the other electrician i call the electric company i'm calling everybody this seems that nobody has heard from you i call them back I call them back when the middle is. I'm not going to break my video for it. Whoever it is, it's probably not about important anyway. So, like I said, if you're going to drop the ball, 
of course, then the Bible common sense is going to pick up and start calling people. So my response back to him was any response that you would get from a normal person that's been in with no electricity for six days. Well, no, mine's ain't quite normal because I was actually enjoying it, but at the same time, it's supposed to be on. He lucky. I mean, a normal person probably would have gave him some words of wisdom. You know what I mean? So, my response was simply, I'm like, hey, I said, sir, I said, I'm usually a patient person. And when someone is dropping the ball and I don't see where anybody's trying to inform me of anything because inform me of anything, and I'm the one that needs to know because I'm the one that's staying in the dark. I'm the one with food running for six days that ain't is still in the refrigerator with no power. That's me. And another thing, sir, I'm back here. Not you. You are at home, warm in your bed at home with your heat on and your Flintstones or whatever you watch, Captain K, man, Hong Kong, for it. My three sons, three stooges, Spider-Man, Underdog, Danger Mouse, Swat Cats, Shirt Tails, Charlie Brown. You know what I mean? You chilling. Every person that was involved with this whole thing could go home, open the door to some nice heat and TV and a beer, whatever they wanted to do. Meanwhile, back at the Bat Cave, Mississippi survivors in the dark, trying to help his people get some info and learn some things and what you need to do in this situation. I could have got out of this situation in day number one. When they turned them lights off, I didn't have to be here until they turned them back on. I chose to be here, and I chose to be here for you because I wanted you to learn something. I want to be able to show you and tell you by firsthand experience that you are not ready for the electricity to get turned off. Am I glad the electricity back on? Yes, I am. Can I handle it with it being off? Yes, I can. But while it's on, it's taught me a valuable lesson to put more focus on what needs to be done and Kate, when the lights cut off the next time, you will be way more prepared. You will have, and I've learned from me, because I'm going to put inverters in every stinking room. I'm going to buy inverters and put them in every room. Whatever, whatever app, in, inverter fix the application for that room, that's what's going to go in there. I'm going to screw it to the wall and that room in there, and then I'm going to run wires to it. And if I had to, if I don't, if I have to just have so different sets of battery settings and inverters, that's what I'll do. I know somebody's going to say just plug in through the. No. I don't know about messing with that electrical box now. Because for one, this ain't my house. I'm running. So no, I am not going to mess with nobody's electrical box. I'm let that stay like that. I got my own electrical box that I do what I need to do with, but I'm not messing with theirs. But then again, I am paying rent. So therefore, this belongs to me until I decide to move out of it. Yes. Hey, hey, I'm doing a YouTube video. I'll call you right back. I'm, I'll be done in a few minutes. Okay. It's day six. I got to get this to the people. The people need me. Thank you. Hallelujah. Why everybody call me when I get on this video? Nobody called me none today to now. They don't want this information out, I guess. But I'm going to give it to you anyway. So... One, let's talk about the generator situation. 
Something I didn't say. You're going to need a really good cord if you're going to use a generator. And for anybody that think they're going to throw away their generator and do all solar, you've got to be stop raving mad. It ain't going to work. The only way you're going to do all solar and get rid of your generator 100%, you have to have a massive battery backup. Massive. You hear me? You got to have a back a, a battery backup so massive it's got to when you plug up whatever you plug up it's got to be able to last from five in the evening when you start using it unless you're at work and ain't using it or all the way until the sun comes back up at which is six thirty that next following day. You hear me now? You gonna have to have a, a mean battery backup system because I ain't seen nobody on YouTube that got one yet. One person that talked about it and it was on uh what was the name of the show? I can't think of the name of the show, but they they uh oh preppers and they took it off. They took it off. I, I knew it was coming because they was giving out way too much information and I knew they were gonna take it off. And another thing, I I just some of that was staged. It was staged just for. The drama purposes of it. Some of it was staged, trust me. Mm -hmm. Except when the guy blew his finger off. No, I don't think he staged that. You see what I'm talking about? That's ridiculous. Hello, mother. Can I call you right back? Yes, ma'am. Okay, here I come. I guess my mom brought me a celebration. The lights back on, so she got me something to eat. So don't act like y'all mom don't get y'all nothing to eat. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Ah, sorry. Let's try this again. Oh, jeez, I swear everybody's calling me. Ah. Well, she brought me the good naked bones. I'm sorry, I had to get off the off the subject. Naked bones and cornbread and rice. That's right, Miss Danje. <laughs> That boy going to eat good this evening. <laughs> uh, let's, so, generator, make sure you have a very thick cord. If I haven't said it before, make sure you have a cord that's thick enough and heavy enough to handle whatever you're trying to run in your house. And make sure your generator can handle whatever you're trying to run in the house also. Now, the generator came in one heck of a handy for me because there was no heat. And the other options that I tried didn't work. So I had to pull out the gangster that I had for quite so many years. I totally tore it down, got it all redone, put it back, it rides and run, runs like a champ. So I was very excited about that. So it allowed me to have some heat. One room, the room was nice and toasty. I slept like a baby. Wonderful. Um. Solar, back to I said, the battery bank. You got to have a massive battery bank if you want to do solar. If you're trying to run your whole house, I'm just saying. If you're trying to run your whole house or you're trying to make it last from one day to the next, especially one at a time, it's got to be beefy. I mean, and almost lithium almost, because lithium is on, I know it lasts that long. I mean, you know, uh, AGM regular car battery. I mean, it's designed not to. It's it's not designed to to go past twelve and a half. Twelve and a half is fifty percent. That one you really should be stopping uh, anywhere between 
from 13 back down to 12 and a half is where you're supposed to be at. I had mine set to 12 2, which is almost empty, really, to be honest, which is close to half, but it's almost empty. But I still run them, though, because the car batteries are durable. Any temperature, they can handle it. But I know it can because they're in cars. And whatever temperature been throw with it outside, they would go with it, it keeps running. Um, lithium batteries don't last a lot long, but lithium batteries cannot take any heat. It's like a like a tender baby booty or a freaking a princess die. I mean, it's, it's, lithium batteries are just tender when it comes to that. They can't take no heat. I don't know how much, and then, I mean, I found out it was a certain temperature cold it can't take neither. But I think it's pretty low, though. But the heat, they can't take no heat. If you don't believe me, take your phone and leave it in the car and go and close the windows up on summer day and go in the store and come back. When you come back, that you're going to have a temperature gauge on the sand, overheated. Those are lithium bears in your phone. They can't take no heat. I wish they figured the technology out for that and fix that because that will be awesome. Uh, I'm thinking about just thinking because I cannot afford to try to get like the bears or them things are expensive. I mean, the regular bear is enough. I think I pay a hundred and I will spend a hundred and seven a piece for a hundred amp hour, uh, AGM, uh, deep cycle batteries. Uh, so right now I got about four of those and I got one small one added to it. Uh, I don't know if that could cause a problem with the other batteries charging completely up because the capacity of the other batteries is smaller. If anybody know about that, they can, uh, I'm going to research on it, but anybody that may know anything about that, go ahead and shoot me some information on that at um, uh, MississippiSurvivor at gmail.com. Email me that info. Uh, that'll be most helpful. Um, let's see what else you learn. Mm-hmm. looking for some more alternative sources of heat now for me i am going to get the big buddy heater that's no if and buts about it i'm gonna get it i would like to have two of them i believe two two of those things that heat your house up so hot you can't even breathe in here. that that thing puts out it puts out i mean i don't like the i don't like the regular buddy heater the single one I'm not a big fan of it. I mean, I could figure a way to use it if I had it. Probably like add a small fan or something to it because it doesn't have a fan, so it can't move the heat around, which kind of dampers on it, you know, when you do that. And also the uh, the dual fuel on the bigger one is awesome because you can go down on low and that thing will last for like eight hours or something like that, I think, on low. With four with two cans, so that's another uh, awesome feature. I'm definitely gonna get that. That's something that needed to be uh, got. That's something else I learned from this experience. Uh, no, uh, oh yeah, know what kind of security you got, and know if you can make that security run for long periods of time without being having power. That's something else you got to do. Which I figured that out how to make it run for a extended period of time using battery packs. Also, the actual alarm on the house, I had that running all the time, even with no lights. I still had it running. So I still had my safety mechanism up, even though there was no power. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry about the video yesterday. Um, I had my other phone. It sucked. It doesn't have that much memory on it, and it just died right in the middle. It cut the video short, so I do apologize for that as well. Um I don't know. I think it's lights out made me put out more videos because I've been pumping out videos every day, every single day. And I didn't want to skip today, definitely, because this was, I thought it was going to be a complete day six, but it turned out not to be a complete day six. But at the same time, I enjoyed the experience. I've learned from it. I am going to take advantage of why the lights are on and to tell everyone why your lights are on, why you have your gas. While you have water, take advantage of these things now and learn what you can do if you don't have them. Water is detrimental to your life. Three days you did. So I'm trying to tell you, if you can find a way to have a water supply or something like that, you definitely need to get on that. That's up to you how you do that. But, I mean, 
I mean, just can't survive without water. Past three days, you're going to be in trouble. Big trouble. So if you can figure out a water, a water source or digging you or doing a shallow well, I can just take a hand pump. That's good enough for me. I mean, or you can use a, uh, something power generator or whatever you want to use um, to pump it out. That's cool, too. But as long as I can get the water, that's good enough for me. I'll figure the rest of it out later on. I just want to have it, you see. <clears throat> the water, the storage, lights have plenty of lights. I've been preaching about lights so many times, so much until I got so many lights. It's un it's unreal. Until every time I see a different type of light, I want to see what's the quality of it. How long does it last? I should be doing lights, just testing lights and giving them to people. I mean, one shoot for a mile and a half. Uh, I mean, it's it's so much to it. As to make make it good, you know what I'm saying. Sometimes they just throw this stupid Bluetooth speaker on there to uh, make you buy it. When the Bluetooth speaker suck, I ain't seen none of them yet with a good Bluetooth speaker. I I even got some light bulbs. They got a decent Bluetooth speaker. I mean, four as high as but you ain't got nothing with the bass and all that, and that ain't gonna happen. Forget it. It's over. So don't think that's gonna happen. If it does, you need to be texting, emailing, message survive so I know about it. Of course, anybody want to help support my channel, I'll leave uh, my doodads in the uh, in the, uh, in the in the description so you can do so. Um, someone asked me about the lights. Uh, the lights I have up; these lights come from Amazon. Uh, just look up Chase lights. Uh, it's gonna be different lengths of lights, lengths, lengths. But what I, I decided to go with uh, two hundred to uh, two hundred footer. I only use one row so far, and I did this entire room. So I have another two rows, one row. I'm gonna go down the hall. I'm just gonna theate this thing down. I'm going down that whole hall and come back around on the other side and do that one too. It would be nice if I had all the rooms set up like that. So if something happens, I ain't gotta worry about different lights. All I gotta do is plug in. Boom, boom, and lights come on everywhere. So, I appreciate you guys for dealing with me, hanging in there with me, hanging with me in the palace of the survivor. Thank you. I appreciate you. Some people said some stuff in my comments, and I was like, huh? Somebody asked me, did I have power? What I've been saying for the last six days, I do have no power. And they said, do I have power? Wow. Okay. Maybe they, just, maybe they didn't, maybe they skipped some videos. I no, because I said in every video, and the name of the title was Lights Out. So, okay. So, I mean, some of the questions just, I don't understand why it was it asked. I don't. Okay. But, I got some more info. I just got a plunder in my mind for a minute. And, uh, I'm going to shoot out some more uh, info. <gasps> I know what I was going to tell you guys. I would, I would love to make this for another second, but I just got to show you this. But I'm going to have another segment on all this stuff. To, to, hold on. Ever since I was a child, they said, come on to me. 
Hey. Ah. Yeah, I went outside for this. Now, you must excuse me because I ate several slices with bread. What do we have here? It's bologna. Oscar Mayer bologna. You dig? It's good bologna. And I know you said, that's what you came way out there to show us some bologna. Mr. Survivor. Nope. I wanted to show you this. You see that? What's that? Anybody in the room, what is that? I'm going to get close. Tell me what it is. A security tag on bologna. Tell me why this bologna was five dollars for bologna. A security tag on bologna. Now that's bologna. You dig? That was my I had to throw that one in there. But a security tag on some bologna? I told y'all, this thing is real. People in upper states, they probably already seen this on, I mean, on real stuff like steak and chicken. But these folks got this in my little town on bologna. What? Insane. I ain't gonna go no more into that right now. But we're gonna we're gonna sectionize on some of this stuff. When I see it, I'm gonna start grabbing. I'm gonna show you to you. You see exactly what I'm talking about. You know, we already in the pot. We already in the toilet, and they stirring that mud up. Well, let's throw this in there. Boop. More. Boop. That's what they're doing. And we just sitting back doing nothing, acting like everything cool. I wish I could have took at least 25 of y'all through what I just went through these last six days, 25, and get some strong folks back out of it. You would have been strong at the end of it. Because I talked to some people. They said, I'm going I'm to go to my so-and-so house. I'm not going. Nope. Stand on your own sometime and stop asking people to do something. Stand on your own sometime. Just stand. 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 That was Dr. McClurkin said. He said, Stan, what will you do? <laughs> Don't make me get at you now. <laughs> Stan. <laughs> what now? Watch out now. I, I get at you. That's on um, ministering, boy. That was something y'all need to learn to do to stand. You feel the stand. So, hey, I got to get to go to work, y'all. I love to talk to y'all smoke, but by the time I get off, I guarantee you, my mind gonna have a whole ton of more stuff to take. So I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Open your eyes. Pray. Prep. And stand. Pray. Prep. Stand. And take some action. You move, God will make two moves. You make one, he'll make two. This is Mississippi Survivor. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you. Peace. And hair grease. I'm out. <laughs>